one thing that I'm 100% confident about when it comes to Aqua is my ability to spot lucrative job opportunities and then apply for them, get those invites and start going for the interview. Now, this is a skill that I've developed over a long period of time. And now it seems very simple for me. Sometimes I even tend to forget that this is really something that is difficult to master for most people. In today's video, we are going to go into the details of how do you spot a lucrative opportunity that is really important. And second, how do you apply for that opportunity? In day three of our mentorship program, we talked about proposal writing. This is day four. And we are going to talk about spotting lucrative um, opportunities on Upwork. Most people will downplay this topic because they think they know. And that's the mistake most people make. They think that they know, they understand, they know how to do this. But if you watch up to the end of this video, I am going to show you exactly the techniques that I use to spot lucrative jobs and how do I assess the job that if I apply for it, I'll be able to get the job. I'll be able to land at least an invite of that job. Getting an invite is really important because like it's like a one step into that particular job. So you must try to get yourself an invite. And that's what I'm going to show you, but I'm only going to show you at the end, towards the end of this video, because I want you to pay attention and watch the rest of the video. It just makes sense for you to watch the entire video so you get the full idea. My name is Jesse Kamara. I am a full-time freelancer on Upwork and a professional product manager. So if you are new, um, I want to welcome you to this program. This is day four. We are on a journey to get you your first job on Upwork. If you already have your first job, then I want to help you to scale your business on Upwork. All right. We are going from this day zero to day 14. So if you are with us, please watch this video and then watch the rest of the other videos. One thing that I want to talk about is as a new freelancer, you have limited um, number of connects. Now, you uh, uh, let's talk about connect because this is really an important um, aspect of freelancing. So when applying for a job on Upwork, you are expected to spend connect. Connect is like points. So just look at it like maybe you want to play a particular game and somebody say you have to have like 10 points before you can play that game, right? So Upwork use points. These are points. These are just points that Upwork gives you. The moment you create a new account, Upwork gives you 50 points that you have on your account. So each month, I think they give you something like 10 points. Each month, they give you something like 10 points. I don't know whether that has increased. I, I, I have not followed that over the last couple of months, so I don't know exactly. But that's what they do. Every month, they give you some points. Now, when you want to apply for a job, Upwork will tag the job how many points you have to spend. Normally, I think now it's about 16 points a job that you're applying for, you have to spend like 16 points. So if you don't have points on your account, basically you cannot apply for a job. So there is limitation for new freelancers. That is why this particular topic that we're going to deal with today is very important. So you don't just waste your points on every job that you see. You have to make a conscious decision, deliberate act to see those jobs or opportunities that are really useful for you to, to, to apply. So if you are applying your points, you are using up your points, make sure you use them for the right kind of jobs. So you don't just apply for every job that you see. You see, that's why I think this is really important that you stay with me so that we'll go through this um, step by step so that you see how I do it. At least you learn from my own experience, even if you already know how to do it, but you can learn from what I already know, which can add to your own knowledge and improve on how you do it. All right, let's go to the computer and uh and go into the details of this so today we are going to use my account my actual account that i'm using on upwork so this is the best part of this show i would say i show you exactly my account i don't hide anything and the reason for that is i don't want to be like other people that just talk about these topics but they don't they don't actually have any serious standing on upwork i have a very strong and prominent standing on upwork so i can speak authoritatively about some of these things because i have gone through them and i know how hard it is to find your first job. And that's exactly what I want to help you to do. So let's go to my computer then. So we are here. As you can see, this is my account, the actual account that I'm currently using. So today we are going to look for a product management job, all right, on, on Upwork. So through this process, I want to walk you through the process that I normally use to look for a job. And the reason for that is for you to actually see the way I think about the process of looking for a job. So imagine that I've run out of jobs and now I am looking for a new job on Upwork and I really want to um, um, take my time to look for this job. 
and I have limited connect. So as I was saying, now that I have clicked on that Upwork icon, there is this search bar at the top here. You can type there for a job or something. All right. You can just type for any job that you are looking for. For me, since my account is an existing account, I have already added like filters. You can see this product management, um, product management filter. You have software development filter. So basically, they are now suggesting jobs that are related to that profession. So if I say best match, if I go to best matches, it means uh, these are jobs that, that matches my profile, basically the title of my profile or the skill set that I have selected when creating my account. If you don't know how to create your account, by the way, we have a video on this series wherein I have walked people step by step on how to create accounts. So you can see the best matches. Next one is your recently posted. You can just use this. Now for me, most times I just limit my search here. And the reason is, is not because I'm lazy. That's the reason. <laughs> because I'm a very lazy person. I'm lazy. Basically, I don't, I'm not able to go and start doing all the search. But today we are going to look at, we are going to do a deeper search. All right. So now what I want us to do is to just click. If you look at, let's, let's look at the feed. What is on the feed here? What, 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 what do we have there? So you can see click up funnels is one of those uh, jobs that are posted six minutes ago. And so, so you can see all of the jobs that are, that are being posted, like on my feed, you see, um, jobs that are associated to what, to my specialization, but basically they are general jobs. They are everything, right? So what you need to do is to basically come to best matches. So jobs that are actually match my skill sets. If I click on best matches, what will happen is that they will basically filter the jobs that best matches my skill set. Before we go there, um, I want to talk about Connect a bit. The reason is I have talked talk, talk about Connect a little bit. So you have to understand about Connect first before we start looking for jobs. So let's get there. So look here on your on your on the right side of your your screen. So you can see this is my profile. I just want to go to this point here so that you can just zoom in there a bit. So you can see this is my profile. You see my profile. Completes your profile 100%. My profile is 100%. So you can see here promotes with ads. So basically on Upwork, you can promote your yourself with ads, right? You can do availability badge, which shows that you're available. You are, you are available for hire. Then you can boost your profile. Boosting your profile basically means that you can use Connect to boost your profile. So um, you want to show you want Upwork to show your profile to clients that are coming to look for freelancers, right? On the platform. So if a client posts a job, you want Upwork to show your your profile so you can post that. That's one way you can do it as well. Then um, connect, right? But this particular feature, I think, is a great feature for me. If I have a chance to speak to um, Upwork, I'll probably tell them that why can't you find a way for new freelancers to just have to make it easier for freelancers to enter into the freelancing space because it has become so difficult for new freelancers to enter because of this a uh, huge competition that is on the platform. So they can create a feature that basically helps freelancers like specific criteria, things like, for instance, if you're active on the platform, you've completed your profile 100%, you've read the terms and conditions of Upwork and so on. They can just tag you with uh, some kind of badge that says you are very active or you are very um, enthusiastic or something like that. That's, then they can recommend those people to um, um, clients that have jobs that are entry-level jobs. Then people can hire those freelancers and see how those freelancers progress if they maintain those jobs or not, right? That's just a suggestion for Upwork. You don't have to um, worry about it. But what I'm saying is um, boosting your profile is expensive for new freelancers because it means you have to buy um, Connect for you to be able to do it. So it's not something that's easy. So what we are looking for is Connect. We want to um, look at Connect, right? So let's click there. Now you will see I have my available Connect. You can see I have 142 Connect. And that's because I don't actively apply for jobs unless a job really hits me before I apply for a job. So mostly because um, Upwork keeps adding every month, they add for me some connect. So that's why you see my connect multiplier. So now I can use as many connects as I want. So I can see, I can view the details of this connect. I can also buy the connects, right? So this is what I was talking about when I said connect this uh, number. So if you have a new account, you notice that your connect will be like 50 connect. But when you apply for a job or you, you want to use the available badge, then they will um, reduce your connect because you have to pay some connects to do those kind of things, right? So this is a way that Tixo, um, that um, Upwork uses to basically um, uh, make their own money as well to monetize some of these things because this platform, I'm sure it's not easy to, to maintain.